you may be asked to figure out whether or not a bond between two atoms is ionic, covalent, or polar covalent. To do this, you're going to have to figure out what the difference in electronegativity is between the two atoms. Now to do this, you're going to need a table or a chart or something with the electronegativities of each atom listed. You can find them online. Your teacher should give you one on the test if you're going to do this. But let me show you how it's done. You calculate the difference in electronegativity between the two atoms. For example, the difference between H and F is 1.9. The difference between N and F is 1.0. See, I'm just taking the difference between the two. If that difference is 0 up to 0 0.4, then we generally say it's a covalent bond. If the electronegativity difference is, I don't know, 0 0.5 or just above 0 0.4, up to about 1.7, we usually call it polar covalent. And if the difference in electronegativity is more than 1.7, that's when we have what we call ionic bonds. Now the reason for this is that if the two atoms have similar electronegativities, they're going to hold on to their electrons equally and share the electrons, making it a covalent bond. If they have very different electronegativities, then one atom is going to steal electrons away from the other. One will become positive, one will become negative, and you'll get an ionic bond. And if it's somewhere in between, it'll be partially covalent, but there will also be a bit of a positive charge on one and a bit of a positive charge on the other, and so it's polar. We, we call it polar covalent. But let's see how we can actually use this information. What type of bonding is present in NF3? Well, the difference in electronegativity between nitrogen and fluorine is 4 minus 3. So that turns out to be 1. If the difference in electronegativity is 1, it is a polar covalent bond which means the electrons aren't quite stolen from one atom and given to the other, and they're not quite perfectly shared either. What about the type of bonding in CH4? Now C and H are 2.5 and 2.1. So the difference in electronegativity is 2.5 minus 2.1. Turns out to be 0 0.4. Up to 0 0.4 we call a covalent bond, which means hydrogen and carbon share their electrons about equally. And finally, lithium chloride, between lithium and chlorine, that's 3 and 1. Now those are quite a ways away from each other. The difference in electronegativity is 3 minus 1, which is 2. That's a huge difference. Anything above 1.7 is called ionic. So this is an ionic bond. In summary, to figure out what type of bonding is present in your, between your two atoms, find the difference in electronegativity, and then use this chart here to figure out what kind of bond you actually have. Best of luck.